Hello everyone, I'm back with another interesting topic and in this video we will talk about what are external client apps in Salesforce. Uh, so ex external client apps are basically the next generation of connected apps. So let's start. So starting with the basics as always, uh, firstly what are connected apps? So connected apps was a framework in Salesforce that enables an external application to integrate with Salesforce using APIs and standard protocols such as SAML for SSO, OAuth and OpenID Connect. So connected apps use these protocols to authenticate, authorize and provide single sign-on for external apps. So if I tell you an example, when you log into your Salesforce mobile app and see your data from your Salesforce org, so you are using a connected app. Your, that data is basically being fetched from a connected app. So now what are external client apps? So uh, these are basically the next generation of connected apps. Uh, it is more of a packageable framework which uh, enables a third party application to integrate with Salesforce using APIs and security protocols. Basically external client apps provides the same functionality as that of connected apps, but it uh, since connected ha apps had some limitations. So external client apps overcome those limitations. Uh, those limitations we'll talk about in the next slide. So um, external client apps provide SSO and use OAuth protocols to authorize third party apps similar to connected apps. So now let's discuss what was the need of the external client apps. So both connected as apps and external client apps involves two different types of active users. Uh, one set of users develop those apps while the other set of uh, users are admins that basically uh, admin users basically maintain those apps and developers are the one who have developed those apps. So there was a need to separate these user roles when the app is packaged and distributed to different Salesforce orgs, right? Uh, so the, the metadata of the connected app was contained in only one single file, while in external uh, client apps, I'll show you how uh, the metadata is distributed between different types of uh, metadata formats. So ex uh, as, it's, uh, as I told, external apps provide different metadata files with separate configurations. Also, when uh, we take uh, packaging into consideration, it was uh, with the connected apps, it was really difficult, but external apps improve that improve the packaging process as well. So when I say packaging, I'm talking about uh, creating a managed packet or creating a 2G uh, second generation package. So we'll discuss more in the next slide about the differences. Uh, so package and distribution were a major issues being faced in the connected apps. Client apps are designed specifically for the second generation packaging, as I told previously. External client apps are also optimized for source driven development on scratch orgs and maintain a clear separation between proprietary developer settings and customizable admin defined policies. As I said, we'll have separate metadata uh, in external client apps. So uh, right now, external client apps uh, do not support um, all the functionalities of connected apps, but in the future, eventually it will support all the functionalities and Salesforce will move to uh, external cli client apps. So um, external client apps uh, use OAuth protocols to authorize to third party apps. However, there are features available for connected apps that aren't ready for the external client apps yet. So for example, dynamic client creation. So now let's see a table of uh, differences between connected apps and external client apps. So uh, on the first column is basically the features. The second column is uh, the connected apps, whether it is available or restricted or not available. And the uh, third column is of external client apps. So uh, second generation packaging, it is restricted in connected apps, but is fully available in external client apps. Uh, first generation packaging is not available in ex uh, external client apps. Uh, distribution state management, distinct developer and admin user profiles. So these are the different metadata types that were not available in connected apps, but are available in the external client apps. So uh, other differences I see is SAML. SAML is not available in external client apps, but is available in connected app. And uh, uh, and if I go to the next slide, I can see other differences as well. API access control is uh, available, was available in connected app, but not available in external client apps. So, and it is not even needed basically. So other things you can uh, pause and read. So I'll move to the next slide.
so now we will see a demo uh, which you guys were waiting for so there there are two types of external apps one is local and one is packageable so local external client apps are available only on the org where you create them the only difference in configuration between a local and a packaged external client app is the distribution state setting so if you change the value in this field from local to packaged the app can be added to a two generation managed package so what we will do in the demo we will create a local external client app and then we will test the oauth 2.0 client credentials flow using the app in my org and uh, in I'll go to the setup and in the quick find type external and you can see that i see the settings click on settings and uh, check uh, turn on this uh, checkbox that is opt in for the external client apps uh, now just refresh the page and again search for external now you can see the external client app manager is present so we will basically uh, go, uh, create our external client app from here but before that let me click on uh, let me go to permission sets and create a new permission set so basically is given different permissions for the user uh, to manage develop or uh, uh, like handle the policies for the external client app we will so see those permissions let me name it external client app permissions and save it uh now uh go to system permissions and uh, do a control f and search and search external client so you can see i have a permission named create edit and delete client apps so the users with this permission will be able to uh, create edit and delete a external client app then i have the permission view all client apps view all client apps and view their setting and edit their policies so uh, let's say if you want to give a user a permission to edit their policies you, you can give that permission and second lastly we have ex view external app consumer secret and metadata so if you want a user to view the consumer secret and metadata uh, so you will have to check give that permission since i am the system admin i have all the permissions so i'll go back to the external client app manager which i showed now click on new external client app just name is name it as oauth client cred test the distribution state should be local so as i showed you local is like for your own org if you want it to be packageable you'll have to select packageable in the api settings enable oauth since we are using the client credential flow uh, we can give any random url callback url Uh, the OAuth scopes, you can uh, select the OAuth scopes that you need for uh, the testing purpose. I'm giving all the scopes and I will enable the client credentials flow. Now, just uncheck this require PKCE for the supported authorization flow. So I have created a video on the what is PKCE. So it just basically provides additional security on OAuth flows and click on create. Awesome. And uh, now you would be redirected to this screen you, where you have three tabs, policies, settings and package defaults. So in the settings, this is what we filled out uh, when we created a new external client app. So if I will uh, go to policies and click on edit, I can enable the client credential flow from here and I can give it a username. So um, I can give the username uh, my username. This is the running user of the client credentials flow. So I've created a specific dedicated video. So you can check that out to know more about the client credentials flow. And I'll click on after filling out the user, I'll just click on save. And my external client app has been saved successfully. Awesome. Now I can uh, I need to find the consumer key and the consumer secret. How I can find that out, go to settings and uh, expand the OAuth settings and you will see um, for a button here consumer key and secret when you'll click on it uh, it will redirect you to a new tab where you'll uh, receive a verification code on your email uh, once you receive that you can see the consumer key and the consumer secret now let me go to postman and let us postman screen now 
so you can see that uh, the first um, uh, so you can see that um, i'm making a post request and the first part of the url is the my domain of of my org how i can find the my domain of my org just um, in the quick find type my domain just select it and you can see the my domain of the org now uh, you'll have to give three params url params the first is the grant type is equals to client credentials the client id and the client secret so as i told you the client id and the client secret you can get uh, when you when you uh, enter the verification code you can get that from there and just click on send and let me see awesome i got the access token and i also got the scopes the necessary scopes uh, for which this access token is valid for uh, now what i'll do is now i am in my vs code and i have clicked on org browser and it is loading the metadata so i want to show you like uh, the different metadata for the external client apps that i was telling you about so um, now it has loaded let me search for external uh, client app okay awesome so i got this external client app uh, this is one of the other org where i created the app with the name testing you can see that one uh, this is basically the app metadata for the app this is uh, the app this is for the app policy this is for the global OAuth settings and this is for the configurable policies uh, and i have total of five uh, different metadata for external client apps so this is how the salesforce has uh, created it separated or created separate metadata files for uh, the external client apps so this one contains uh, the contact email and label of the app if i open this i uh, this one contains the consumer key and other things whether is client credentials is enabled or not if i open this uh, metadata type this one contains the client credentials flow user and other settings this one contains the scopes and the finally the last one contains uh, the other things like uh, is OAuth plugin enabled or not so awesome so uh, so this was like a short demo for the local client external client apps that i wanted to show you so hope you learned something new today and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone